Hey guys, it's Justine. And I'm Jenna. Welcome to the Same Brain Podcast. Roll that intro. Jenna, we have a guest on the pod today. We do have a guest and he is not a stranger to the Same Brain Podcast. Today we're going to be talking to Panos Panay. He is the Executive Vice President and Chief Product Officer at Microsoft. Woo! Yes. Okay, we've got him here on Microsoft Teams. Panos, are you there? There he is. Hi. Hi. Panos, hello. So nice to see you again. Welcome back to the podcast. So good. I'm pumped to be here. I mean, honestly, it's a, seeing you both is a blast. Yeah. Has it been like almost a year since we saw you last? Yeah, almost a year. What did we do this at? We, we talked the launch of Windows 11, the, the original launch. It was October 5th that Windows 11 officially launched. Oh, I had it in my notes. Well I have done. it permanently well in my done. brain. Because I was going to say, I was like, yeah, it's almost been a little bit, you know, less than a year that we spoke and I feel like so much has happened and so many exciting things happened. And I don't know if you can see my sweatshirt. I've got the Microsoft hardware sweatshirt on. That is rad. Are you kidding? And Justine has her jacket. Oh, I, have, I had my jacket awesome. on, but Come I was on. sweating. I was like, yeah. I have to take this off. <laughs> <laughs> That's super awesome. Like it has been a whole year and so much has happened. I'm, I don't know where the whole year has went. And so congrats on everything. I mean, Windows 11 has been awesome and I've really been enjoying using it. So do you want to maybe talk us through like what's new, what's the updates and what can everyone expect when they do the update? There's so much going on. And it's it's fascinating because when we launched Windows 11, like when we did this last year, you know, it was fully new to the world. It was this kind of this move of simplifying Windows and bringing some beauty to it and helping people get more productive. And then you kind of spend this time listening, learning, and then you always have a roadmap. And so, you know, you're kind of releasing product today. We got another release in the middle of October, but it is that continuation of what we talked about last year. This next release is about making everything simpler for people. That's really what we focused on. Like, how do we make it simpler? How do we make Windows the everyday simple for you? And so we brought more productivity, more creativity, more focus on just having some fun, more focus on leaning back as a, using it as a tablet, putting your pen down, uh, just the touch features. And there's so much there. I mean, I, it, the list goes forever. It's actually, thinking about it, there's like this treasure trove of features for somebody who loves to hunt for details. There's so many. We had a blast building it, but ultimately it it really does deliver making your everyday simpler, uh, whether that's about productivity, connecting with somebody else, feeling very secure, more secure than ever before. Uh, these are the things that we focused on. And what can we expect as far as accessibility? Because I feel like you guys are always kind of pushing that envelope of trying to make things more accessible for everyone. It's a passion of mine. It's a passion of the teams. Like building Windows, you are building for everyone. You have to take that seriously. The thing about today, we launched a, the Windows 11 update in 190 countries this morning. Now you put that put that in your mind. It's kind of wild to think and about. And so there's a couple of things that come with that. You're talking about everyone. And, you know, we don't take that responsibility lightly, but specific on accessibility, like extending that conversation into accessibility. I mean, one of the coolest features is system-wide captions, which is a dorky way to say it, but let me put it a different way. It doesn't matter what you're doing. Uh, Windows will provide you captions. I know that sounds small for some people and huge for others, but ultimately here's what it is. It matters to people. It's just more inclusive. That is my favorite feature, by the way, like for sure, because the feedback I get, and by the way, you know how I'm sure you guys get feedback all the time. I get feedback from, you know, it's a lot of users on Windows, you know, over a billion people using the product, of course. But one of the things I hear a lot is, you know, help. Now extend that feature, close caption into translating, and that sits in the system. So again, you know, when you're talking about multiple languages, multiple countries, how we communicate and connect with each other. And then maybe like one of my favorites, and there's a story behind it, and, and maybe, you know, maybe when you come out here and we sit down and maybe we can get in person, I'll tell you about it. But narrator has been forever in Windows, this like robotic voice. How come it can't be more personal? Like, I just don't understand. I mean, there was just a simple question at a meeting, you know, you're sitting there like, how about we just make it more human? Like that seems reasonable. And uh, that's the same idea. Like how do we just uh, build build a more inclusive product? So the system-wide captions, I mean, that would be for anything. If you're watching, you know, a YouTube yeah. video, for example, that would automatically yeah. start captioning. That's right incredible. now, whatever you're watching this on, if you turn on Windows, you can just see this conversation. You can see you and I talking to each other. If you're on YouTube and you're watching a video, we'll, we'll deliver the captions. You're on Netflix, we'll deliver it. You, you know, you can get it direct from the app too, but a lot of times turning on, off, how does it work? Where do I come from? At the end of the day, you just bring it to the core of Windows and whatever you're working on, if you're in a meeting, whatever, it just, it comes with you. For many, it's a dream scenario. My dad, you know, he's 90 next week. Wow. Every time I say that, he's like, why do you tell people? But he's, he's <laughs> so he's 89. I should say that because every time I say he's 90, I take a call. He pretty much has lost most of his hearing. And so I've turned on captions for him. Uh, and for, you know, you imagine like he's my, he's my hero. And so like 
being able to watch him use it is just a, is a dream for me. And I think that's so important too. And you know, you're talking about feedback. I heard feedback from my audience many years ago saying, Justine, we wish that you would caption your videos. Mm -hmm. And ever since that day, like we yeah. make sure that we caption all of our content, but a the downside to that though is for a lot of like smaller creators, like you have to pay for that service. Mm -hmm. So it can get quite expensive when I'm going through and yeah. captioning thousands of hours of content. So even to have that be something for a lot of creators th that are like, well, you can now, you know, enjoy my content because with Windows, the auto captions are on. So that's incredible. In this release of Windows, we're releasing ClipChamp as well. And oh, ClipChamp's yes. a creativity tool where you can go make videos. So like in those same creators, yeah, I'm sure you all have your tools already, but everybody's kind of leaning in like where you, you see so many up and coming creators right now. And part of this, like when we say making things easier for you, like how is it, if you want to be a creator and you want to lean in, Windows 11 is doing the job just to support you and drive you through it. You know, it's another feature because you asked like, hey, what are the features? It's called Focus, which is really mm -hmm. kind of cool. Sometimes I need notifications because I want to keep up with what's going on and I'm moving so fast and find myself in four windows and working and doing different things and then browsing the web, then getting bored. I don't know if you've ever experienced that. Oh yeah. But every yes. now and then I need to get hardcore at it. You turn it on, start the clock, play your music. It shuts down the system around you and you just, it gives you a timer and you just focus. For me, that's kind of my best creative time if I'm not in a group setting. And so I think creators will be able to sink their teeth into this release. I mean, even if you are in a group setting, you can be like, look, we're having a group focus session now. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> True. But I want to go back to the, to the clip champ because there was one feature that um, I saw which I thought was really cool that you're able to not only screen record but also record from your web camera. So I'm like, this is such a great thing for if you are just a beginner or even if you're not a beginner and you're experienced, like that makes it so much easier to be able to just record the screen and yourself on the webcam. I was very excited about that. When again, talking about like, you know, new creators, it's like you don't have the budget to be buying expensive software and all of these like mm -hmm. monthly subscription things. So it is kind of cool to see you guys really leaning into creators and, and giving them the tools to be able able to really create. And it's now built into Windows 11 with the update. Whoa. Whoa. Round it's just applause. built in. It's Woo! right there for you. Yeah, do more for less. <laughs> That's the way to do more for less. You nailed it. Like it's right there. It's it's ready for you. If you just go unpack this release, if you're a user, we got and believe me, I'm going to get plenty of feedback. I've already got it. You just go, if you have a minute, go look at my feeds. No, no. Like it's like for sure. And I read everything. Do you guys read everything? I read we everything, read a lot. which is bad. Mm -hmm. oh, I usually yeah. wake up at three or four in the morning stressed out. And then I, you know, and I start my writing and then I'll check my feed and I'll be like, why did I do that? Why? Like, what, they, and there's some people that are like, you know, amazing, so sweet, so kind, so supportive, asking for features. Can you do this? This is awesome. But, and then there's that other group that's like, it's a bit smaller, but it's, it's loud when you read it. But in this case, like when they unpack those features, they'll find this one. And screen record's kind of cool. It's mm -hmm. like screen capture on steroids at the end of the day. A lot of times, kind of, here's what I want to demo. Here's what I want to, here's the problem I'm seeing. And so what I usually do is I take a screenshot and then I draw on it with a pen. But now it's just hit record, talk to the camera, move around, record it all, stop recording, send. No, it's amazing. Like I said, one of my favorite features because there's been so many times I needed that and, you know, I know how to do it, but it takes 10 extra steps, 10 extra cameras and all of yeah. these things where I'm just like, no, this is this isn't necessary. And, um, but speaking of, you know, things that you were saying, like it, creating and videos and things like that, you also got some updates. Well, we also got some updates with Windows 11 for making it more personalized when you're in video calls, you know, the, the eye contact, uh, the focus where it'll follow you. I move around so much on calls. I didn't realize. Like I'm always like fidgeting and moving, and I'm like, oh my gosh. Yeah, but this camera now I can will do, do it. This camera will expose you on that. I know. Just so you know, I'm a mover in my meetings. Like I can't sit, and so I'll stand up, and we'll have conversations, and I'll move. It's how I think. It'll auto frame you. It'll blur the background. You can go as far or close to you want. It won't tax the machine because we're doing an offload to get it done. It's quite powerful. I mean, they're state of the art. You won't find them anywhere. It's not done anywhere else this way. We were talking about it before we started. I did the clap, you couldn't hear it, but then you heard me talk. And that's ultimately just background noise blur that we have. You know, here's the deal. People want to be seen and they want to be heard. Like right now, especially. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just, was very impressed just by that. ground yourself. They also want to look good. I don't say that a lot because it's a little bit of bit vanity there for sure, but they do, they do. People do like looking good. Let's be clear. Like, I mean, prepping for this, I was asking the team, like, do I look okay? Like, <laughs> like you want to look good. And so these features come to play. There's eye contact. There's the background blur that creates this DSLR feeling, you know, on a PC at the end of the day. So you don't need the DSLR. And then you, you mentioned the auto framing and audio blur. Like these things are all like to make make it better for you to connect, but also ultimately for you to be seen and heard. And that's how we talked about it when we created the effects. Yeah, we were also talking about things that were built in. Um, Game Pass. Oh, 
I love also, gaming. <laughs> I just need more so time game bar to is game. in the product now. I thought you would right? like that. I knew you'd bring it up because I know you're a gamer and you love gaming. Mm -hmm. And like, I know, I mean, this discuss. is Phil's expertise, let's be clear. And you guys know, you, you both know Phil, right? So yep. <laughs> like I told you last year, I'm terrible at Fortnite and I, I can't handle my 13 year old. Well, if you want, you could play, you could play Fortnite with us. And that means someone's getting kicked out. Who's getting kicked out? It's Probably a, me, actually. We could kick out Sean. Sean can take one for the team. <laughs> Sorry, Sean. <laughs> Sean, you're out, buddy. He's, he's you have out. good hair, Sean. You have nice <laughs> hair. We talked about it. But I, I'm jumping in on Fortnite. I will not help the team. I need you to know. I, I will okay. be there for a laugh and then maybe hand the controller to Anastasia so she can go dominate with hey, you. Hey, that works. Okay, that that works. Honestly, though, it's just about having fun. Like at the end of the day, I'm like, I get, I'm very competitive, so I get mad, but it really is all about having fun. And that is the one thing <laughs> that I do love about that Microsoft fun. is like how inclusive and how easy it is to game. And now gaming, you know, on Windows and PC, it's it's much more uh, available, which is great. Even on your on, phone. With on cloud Windows gaming, 11, now if you attach true. a controller and you hit the Xbox button, it drops down a game bar and that game bar just drop, jumps you right into like playing your game and Game Pass. No loading, no extra buttons no you know no opening an app you just go it's kind of cool like when you want to get at it especially if you're kind of cheating at work and you're like i just need to get a game in really quick you're <laughs> that's like, when the snap layout this. comes into handy i don't the think anybody could see me and when you're working at home for sure for sure but ultimately like when you're in the office like yeah you see how quick i can get into this game well sometimes when you make gaming your work fair you know, there you go but then it becomes sometimes less fun because i'm like wait now we have to do this for work hold on a second i thought this was going to be the dream come true <laughs> that sounds horrible i saw you reviewing a car looking at a car like that seems so hard i mean how do you how do you live it's impossible i don't know because it's like i feel like everything that we do we have the ability to sort of turn it into a video and then i'm like wait when do we actually just live and exist i'm not sure that's when we need the focus <laughs> there's a line yeah, for life you, you have to find that line i mean that's a blessing you know being able to do you know what we love and when we get to talk to you on one of the biggest days probably of you know your year like yeah. this is a huge update and a huge deal and i know a lot of people are excited i actually have um, it updating on three of my PCs right now, still oh, as cool. we speak. I started them at the exact same time, so my internet was like, hey, um, what are you doing? Why'd you do yeah. this? At, yeah, the it'll same probably ask you. I did not time. start mine yet because I was like, we need to do this call first. Fair. And I can't can risk Can you it. let me know, though, when you're done? Can you give me feedback? Want to yeah, know it was no, smooth 100%. and seamless? Like, we put a lot of time into making sure when people go after that update, they get it. Jenna's going to be in your uh, in, the, in the tweet thread. She's going to be like, okay, fix I'll this. I'll tell you that. I'll find this, you there. Love this. Just love put that. the notes in no. there and I'll find them. I'll, I'll, write, I'll type up some notes, but I know it's going to be great. Like I said, I started and then I had to come to the studio to film this, but I was like, oh my gosh, I was watching videos this morning. There were a lot of really great creators who were already. I was like, how did you guys get this content out so quickly? They're fast. Clip Champ, they're on it. Oh my gosh, there you go. Clip Champ yep, is rad. There Clip you go. Clip Champ is rad. I'll tell you right now, it's a really cool product. I'm trying to get better at video editing and creation. My team gets frustrated with me, but Clip Champ has saved me. It's honestly, it is so easy to use because I mean, I've used so many different things and I was like, oh, look, another thing to learn, but it wasn't really learning. It's like, it has all these templates, which is really great because there's people who, you know, don't have the time to figure things out. You just want to you just want it to work and it really does sure. just work. So for sure. it's, it's amazing. So I guess for you kind of going forward for like this, this rest of the year, I mean, how exciting is it for you to know that like the update is here and maybe you can relax maybe for like a couple minutes and then, you know, back into it again. You know, if I told you right now that that's what would happen, it would be totally <laughs> off. It would be so <laughs> off and my team would be what? No way. I, I think yesterday we had, we literally had uh, reviews of kind of the future focus of the product. We got a bunch of OEM partners launches coming up and then we have uh, new features in Windows coming in October. And one of the things that we've changed is we're gonna have more releases throughout the year for Windows, just to give people just more more to do, more to be creative with, more to be productive with, just features that are being asked for and needed, tweaks and tuning and so forth. And so I think it's really a continuous process, but you're not wrong, Jenna. Like this is this was a big day, is a big day for us. You know, for those who have shipped a product and are listening, hopefully this resonates. Um, and for those who want to, you know, there's so much pressure that goes up into a release because you want to get it right. You want to listen to customers, of course. You want your beliefs that you're putting into the product to be seen. You want the love that you put in to be taken out. At the moment when you ship, it's both this comfort because you got to where you wanted to get and you, and you feel that. And you take pride. At the same time, you kind of take a deep breath and you're like, okay, do people love it? And then you have about a minute more and you have to get the next thing right. And so it, then it goes again. And so... I don't think that's different for anything probably you're doing, right? So you finish a product called a video, you drop it. You, how much longer, how long do you sit on that? I get Windows is a big release. It's 
over a billion customers fundamentally. It's 190 countries, I understand. But it's not that different, like a product is a product is a product. I've been shipping them for years, and whether it was a mouse at the beginning of my career or it's a full version of Windows, that same feeling of you drop it and like we're human, right? At that point, you put so much love into it, you put so much of your heart into it, you not only feel super humble, but you're also in that place of like, I hope people love it as much as we put love into it. That's where you've caught me right there, right now. I'm leaving this conversation going to give a keynote internally just to culture, on culture and product making. I'm already in this emotional state where I'm so proud of what the team did. And at the same time, you know, I want to kind of celebrate and, you know, metaphorically give hugs. <laughs> and then, uh, but but then you, you go and you go. There's just there's more to do, more to more to uh, more to get after. And I think that's 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 part of the deal. But it's also like just such a joy. Yeah, I guess I can totally relate because just we just keep pumping out videos, and then that one is just okay. That's done. We've moved moved on. And I always have that hope. I'm like, wait, now I can relax. And it's like, nope. There's more to keep creating. I will say, I don't think I'm able to reach a billion people, but maybe one day. But like thinking you about will, that, like you will. A, keep a it billion. Up. Keep going. A keep billion. Going. Like, because, you know, you think about, okay, obviously Microsoft and Surface, like you have your own hardware, but the software yeah. lives beyond that. It lives so many other places on so many other devices. That is very stressful, I feel like, for you guys to hit, okay, go live. Like, I, I can't even imagine because you are real people behind the product. So like just waiting for yeah. that feedback. That is a lot. Well, I think sometimes people forget that there's real people. True. Be I mean, they also forget that I'm, <laughs> we're fake. I'm like, we're, real we're totally people. fake. And, you know, we're totally fake. <laughs> we're we are totally all AI. Fake. Like you, Dell, HP. These are big days. Lenovo. You know, Razer. If you're a gaming fan, Asus, Acer, like OEM, Samsung. You know, around the world, today's a big day. Like Windows is there. People lean into it. They all come together at some level through Windows and their partners. And you have to think about each of those. I call them nodes as well. Like they, it all it all comes together in different ways to be able to ship this product. Yeah, I feel like you're very thoughtful kind of in that sense too. And I guess even for me or other people that are kind of like working on projects, I mean, what advice can you give to people like, I don't know, to maybe help them sort of get through those stressful times up until launch, whether it's creating a video or releasing uh, a painting or whatever it is that they're they're working on. Like, do you have any advice for them? My advice is similar. It doesn't matter if you're day one in your career or if you're, you know, whatever, year 15, 18, 30. You have to believe in what you're doing. Everything else is is I promise falls into place. It starts with belief, it really does. Everyone has their own beliefs and what they think, but for yourself, do you believe? Do you believe in what you're doing? And if you don't, stop. Stop, reassess, find your belief. And you know, I know it's a little bit like <laughs> follow your dreams. It's a little bit more subtle than that. And like everything, subtlety is everything, right? You just, even in product, those details matter. You might fail in the definition way, you might not, you know, depending on, you know, writing down what your goals were, but you, can't fail because if you believe in what you're doing every step of it is a learning journey like when i watch my kids kind of hit the ground i just pick them up and like was it worth it you know d did you learn did you are you moving and uh that that all anchors on on belief yeah no, i think that's great and i also think sometimes people kind of set these goals which may be realistic they may be unrealistic but like it's great to kind of reach for those but also there's so many other things that could happen if you just kind of give other things a chance. Like, I don't think that I would be doing what I'm doing if I wouldn't have, you know, kind of just took chances because I never sat out to create or to be a creator or anything like that. I just started wanting to learn to edit. And then when I realized nobody else would be in my videos, I would have to so cool. film myself That's right. so that I could teach myself I to edit. I think you made me be in some videos, <laughs> well, yeah, which is somebody. why I'm also here. <laughs> <laughs> that but like, is true. Yeah, but like you said, taking chances. And that's what you know I love about Microsoft is you know you guys are making it easier for people to you know become a creator and get involved and do things that they love. I mean, you guys are creating software and hardware for you know for gamers, for creatives, for people in the work industry, literally for anyone or anything imaginable like that's what you guys are creating for obviously we're huge fans and it's always an honor to talk to you and we're just excited to to be able to chat and yeah. be a part of this i i feel blessed to have the time with you i'm grateful for both of you i've given you thoughts before and like how awesome i think you're doing but also like keep doing what you're doing keep inspiring i look for your feedback yes. i'll take it i mean remember i read everything and so okay. you know I, I don't always like the stuff that's harsh but i love the stuff that's great and I, but i read it all that whatever you send i'll i'll take it on it's great to see you both i i wish you both the best yeah Yes, thank you so much. Appreciate all your time. Enjoy the rest of your day. Remember, take some time I got yourself. you. I got take you. No, I'm going. Relax. We're getting pizza tonight. We're getting pizza. It's a plan. I've got a plan. <laughs> Ooh, yay. Tell your family we said hello. I will. Yes, do tell them we said hi. I will. Hi. My daughters, you, they're huge fans. You know that. So I'm, I uh, can't <laughs> wait to get home and tell them we talked.
They're going to be Thank down playing you. Fortnite. So. Yeah, Fortnite. Yeah. We'll, we'll, Fortnite see you, we'll see you on Fortnite. <laughs> oh, we're going to Fortnite. We're doing it. We're we doing it. Really oh my should. gosh, I'd be such we a should. hero at home. We actually Let's, should. We should. We should actually do this, and then we, you can have your daughter play. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I and love then, it. And here's what I'll do. I'll record it, and I'll 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 make a video. I'll show you how good at my editing skills are. How about that? That's there you a, go. I love it. There it's you go. Done. Content creation at its best. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Well, huge thank you to Panos for joining us again here on the Same Brain Podcast. That was so much fun. So much fun. I think that I can finally leave the studio, go home, and it should be updated. I did three PCs at the same time, and then I had to run over here. So I'm actually excited to get hands-on and test it out. Nice. I'm about to go update mine because I didn't want to do it during the call because I was afraid. Afraid. I was afraid the internet was going to fail. Well, Jenna actually fair. was afraid the power was going to go out today. I had a feeling that the power was going to go out, but thankfully it didn't. It didn't. Internet what? was good. Everything went well. Yeah, it went very well. And it's always a pleasure talking to Panos. And I so really fun. hope that we can all play Fortnite because oh that would gosh. be so much fun. I'm really bad. So I don't, I think I might be worse than he would be. Well, to be honest there's with only you. one way to know. We it's have true. to play and find out. All right. Well, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching and listening. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.